Hi, I'm Joyce, home chef at the Canadian Beef Center of Excellence. I'm here with our butcher Abe and Chef Marty. We're going to take you through the backstory on the boneless rib oven roast. For more information on boneless rib oven roast or other beef cuts, go to our free app, The Roundup. This boneless rib oven roast comes from the rib section. The end that makes probably the best roast would be the end closer to the chuck area. It's got better marbling and would probably perform better as a roast. And because it's boneless, it's easier to carve and there's going to be less waste after it's being cooked. This is ready to be tied. The grain direction is mostly this direction, so we always tie across the grain. That will uh, indicate how it should be carved or how it would be staked. So this boneless ribeye roast comes from the prime rib section with all the flavor and taste of prime rib. But with no bone, there's less waste and makes it much easier to carve. So for the most even cooking and browning, you should put the roast on a rack and then in a shallow pan. No lid, no water. The rack promotes heat circulation around the roast. I use a thermometer when I'm roasting to ensure I get the perfect doneness. Cooking charts are guidelines, but to get a perfectly done roast, I always use a thermometer. A programmable digital thermometer like this has two parts, the probe and the digital monitor here. You can insert the probe into your roast and the digital thermometer sits outside of the oven and is able to be programmed to your exact doneness and has an alarm to go off when the roast is ready. For more information on this cut, watch the Oven Roast with Peppercorn Wine Sauce video, part of our culinary series video collection. And download the Roundup app for complete beef buying and cooking information right at your fingertips.